hello friends now we are going to generate all our recommended reports so first of all we need to create one menu so i am going to add one menu inside in this MDI form we are going to generate one menu menu name is report and first report we are going to create purchase report now we need to add one form so now i am going to add one form new item and we are going to take this form and i am going to give the name of this form is purchase uh, purchase report and now here in this purchase report we are going to add your label and calendar also and data review so i am going to take this from this toolbox first of all we need data review so i am going to take this data review here yeah you can see here this data review and now i am going to take and now here i am going to take label so first of all we need two labels so i am going to take this first label then i am going to take here central label and now we need date time picker so i am going to take here date time picker give your label start date now here we give label end date now here we take one button search now we are going to take one more button all purchase and now we need one more button and it is known as print yeah so first of first of all oh yeah we need one more label for your total so i am going to take one more label and this is for label so i am going to set here value zero yeah so first of all we need to uh, print here all purchase report so now here we need to add library using system dot data dot sql client then here sql connection con is equal to and you can copy from any other form like i am going to copy that string from here copy and now here i am going to paste and now we need to generate one load event of this form so double click here and we are going to write here if connection state is equal is equal to connection state dot open then connection close and connection open this is needed if you write this then you, you never get any types of error regarding this connection now in this button click event we need to display all the all the records from this purchase master table so we are going to write code first of all sql command cmd is equal to cn dot create command then cmd dot command type is equal to <coughs> command type dot text then cmd dot 
command text is equal to here we are going to write select query select star from purchase master now cmd dot execute non query then data table new data table then sql data adapter da is equal to new sql data adapter da dot fill dt and then we are going to write here data db1 dot data source is equal to dt yeah now we are going to make this form in startup so we don't need to again login and login so here purchase report now i am going to start this form all purchase and you can see here all purchase now but here we need to give total so now we need to do that logic so for that here for each data row dr in dt dot rows here i am going to take one integer variable integer i is equal to 0 then i is equal to i plus dr and we store total inside this column product underscore total so here product underscore total <coughs> dot to string and now we need to convert this in integer so no no here convert dot to int 32 and now <coughs> here we can say at label 3 dot test is equal to i dot to string now we are going to check we get proper value or not yeah you can see we get here 25 25 50 now we are going to start the operation of the search button so for that first of all we need to generate search button event so double click now we need to copy this all paste here now we are going to take one button string start date string end date then start date is equal to date time date time picker one dot value dot to string and here we need to pass dd mm y y y y then end date is equal to <coughs> here we are going to take two and now we need to pass here where purchase date is greater than equal to single double double single here start date dot to string and purchase date less than equal to and here we need to pass end date do to string now we don't need to change anything here you have to keep this same now i am going to run and we are going to check first all purchase you can see we have two record one is 17 november and one is 20 november so i am going to take here 14 november to 17 november and then search you can see i get only one record and I got here total of this one record. Now I am going to select 18 to 20. You can see I get again one record. Now I am going to take. Then you can see we get here all record between these two date. 
and we only two record and both record are between two um, dates so we get this whole record now in net studio i am going to show you how you can generate this report using this print button so we are going to add one more three star report inside this and then i am going to show you how you can use this thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much adrian